Hello everybody and welcome to another Gear Talk. This time uh, great news for film photography, the Rolle 35IF uh, will be available for pre-order. Before we begin, as usual, if you want to support the channel, please put a like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you want to go a step further, check out my website, www.barbano.com, the link is up there. And you can see my books there, some photographic books, some technical books, like Photography Dev Manual, and uh, a lot of other things. It's a good way to support the channel, and you can subscribe to my newsletter. It's something that I probably send out uh, every two months or something like that, so it's not spam. Yesterday night, I received an email from Rob announcing that the Rolex 35 AF uh, is available for pre-order and uh, this is really a great news for film photography we have seen a lot of growth in the film photography sector yes is a niche market uh, we cannot uh, expect to see the numbers that we have seen uh, in the analog era but uh, it's great. It means that the film photography is alive and there's something new every moment coming out. Uh, and so we have new cameras that are reliable and so on. Just a few months ago, we have seen the Pentax 17 a film camera, all frame size uh, from Pentax. Beautiful, beautiful camera. Uh, great for beginners and so on. Now we see the Rolex coming to the market. Raleigh is producing a camera that is a little bit more uh, advanced and sophisticated than the Pentax 17. Advanced is not the right term, it's just uh, uh, more dedicated to people with uh, already experience in film photography. The Pentax 17, first of all, is an half frame, so the size of the negative is uh, the half of what you get with the normal format, so the Rolly 35IF. The Pentax 17 is only automatic and these kind of things. It's designed uh, uh, really for uh, the people entering the realm of film photography. The Rolly 35IF uh, uh, is uh, another camera and uh, it's an uh, automatic camera, autofocus, and you cannot change that, but the exposure can be automatic or you can use manual exposure. So it gives much more control of on what you want to do. Nice camera because it's very compact, it's a 10 or 4 millimeters, so 10 centimeters, the wide, 75 the height, and 56 the depth. So it's really a very compact, compact camera. And by the way, there's the link down there in the description, and you can check, and I see if I can put it up here, you can check everything about uh, the new Rolle on their website. There are all the technical specifications and so on. But as I said, uh, very small camera, manual, automatic, uh, uh, the ISO from 25 to 3200, so uh, pretty wide. The shutter speed goes from one second to one uh, five hundredth of a second, and there is a long time uh, option. You can uh, manually select uh, the aperture of the lens, so from uh, 2.8 to f16, so very good range, we have uh, very good uh, autofocus to uh, a lot of depth of field is a 35 millimeter, so it's really um, kind of a, the standard for street photography and this kind of things. On the paper, seems to be a great camera. We have to see the real camera to decide if it's uh, really a good camera or not, but on the paper, the specifications are very, very good. Rolex came out with this idea of the pre-order, so you can pre-order now the camera. In some countries, it will be shipped in October this year. If you are on the European side, it will be shipped to Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and only in a second time, it will be shipped to other countries. So you will have to wait January 15, the 15th of January of 2025. I don't understood exactly on the USA market if it's avail available or not. They just say it will be shipped starting from mid-October, uh, depending on uh, the stock and all this kind of thing. So it's not really clear, clear when uh, you will get the camera. And by the way, a note on this. this. There's this trend right now on all cameras to produce very small amounts of cameras 
and have uh, this kind of pre-order and things. A lot of uh, people just to make some bucks, they order the cameras as much as they can, in this case it's two cameras, and then start to put the cameras on the market uh, when there's scarcity so they can sell it at a higher price and make some profit. It's something that has become a standard with a lot of cameras. I have seen this with Fujifilm, with the digitals, um, the Pentax 17, not uh, that much, but still there's something like that. And uh, there's a lot of cameras that right now are more, uh, actually are more expensive as used because you can find them than uh, the new camera. And this is a, a trend that I really do not like. Uh, I understand it because it's very uh, there's a lot of cost in producing uh, cameras and so on so probably companies prefer to have the orders before they start the production but really it's something that I hope this will change uh, soon because uh, it's it's not something if you need a camera if you're a professional if you need a camera you want to go to, to the store see the camera try the camera, test the camera and buy the camera and you don't want to have these uh, kind of orders that you put in and you have no idea when the camera will arrive. Uh, that can be good for an amateur that doesn't care for uh, when the camera arrives and so on but for a professional it's absolutely important to be to have the cameras available and uh, a lot of time if you are a pro if you are going to change the camera is because you need something off from the new camera so i don't like these things uh, i hope we will get back uh, sooner to the normal market uh, where the producers produces the cameras and then start to sell but uh, this is the reality something that we have to talk about it is the price I did a video uh, about the price of the Pentax 17. A lot of people were thinking that uh, 500 bucks for a Pentax 17 was really too much. And here, and they in the comments said, yeah, I will wait uh, to spend 600 on the Rolly and these kind of things. Actually, the Rolly, if you go on the link for the USA market, is uh, the Chrome version at 885 euros, so probably is around uh, 900 dollars and uh, the black uh, 914 uh, euros so probably is almost a thousand dollar is uh, 900 and a thousand that's the the ballpark uh, if you just go with the with the steam of the dollar conversion uh, on the on the european website uh, it's uh, 845 for the chrome and i have not seen a price for the black so they talk starting from 845 so that's the that's the that's the deal that is really not an economic camera is it worth i have no idea i will have to try the camera and test the camera but for sure uh, with the characteristic of the camera is the pre price that i expected this camera to have uh, for sure as a, a lot of features as a good lenses it seems so it's the price of a camera. It's still less than your uh, modern smartphone. So you are in the in that range of price. So it's not that much uh, in a relative value. As an absolute value, yes, it's a lot. But because we have these uh, uh, morons in charge, the contents contents to print money and evaluate the money, and so at the end of the game. Uh, uh, are the currencies that uh, are worth nothing so it's uh, if you think about it uh, is uh, if you go out uh, for dinner or something like that to people you are around, around 100 bucks right now so it's uh, 10 dinners so that's not that uh, that bad i'm pretty optimist uh, a lot of people will buy it uh, because uh, it's a uh, kind of uh, a new camera with uh, very good characteristics and is something that is a new camera is reliable if you look at the all the rolly cameras uh, on uh, ebay or around the prices are almost there and they don't have the autofocus and this kind of thing personally i don't like the autofocus option too much uh, i like to have the option to focus manually i would love to see 
a simple camera like this all mechanical without uh, electronic things on uh, as uh, a next film camera so this is my dream but still uh, i think that uh, Rolly is a good option and most of all we now have the pentax 17 it's totally beginner get into the system uh, cheaper because you use the L frame and all these kind of things cheaper as a camera and then we have this option of the Rolly to people that is already inside the film and so on so we have all these options and this is absolutely great it means the film photography is totally alive and uh, there's an idea to develop new products I love this. It's, this is a great moment for film photography. And uh, if you wonder why I think uh, film photography is still relevant, you can check the video here up there. But uh, uh, here I want to say one thing is that uh, we are in the era of uh, artificial intelligence, uh, fake photographs and everything seems to be fake. It's very difficult to understand if uh, an image you are looking at uh, is real or not and so on. With film photography we can stick to reality and that is the fantastic part of film photography and the reason why I think film photography is getting ground uh, more and more. With a film we can see that was real and yes if you share it online can be still a fake film photographs but uh, if you have it, you have it. That is a proof that uh, it was real, it was there. So I love that and I love that film photography is going on because I really like film photography much more than digital photography. Uh, I use them both but uh, with film photography I really feel at home. With digital a little bit less and especially with digital I'm very peculiar on the cameras I want to use because as I said uh, in other videos I don't like uh, the electronic viewfinders and uh, in digital optical viewfinders uh, there's not many options there's Pentax and there's a uh, Fuji with the viewfinder and uh, with the rangefinder and uh, there's Lake but uh, right now almost all the manufacturer are just going with the mirrorless and I don't like it all. So this said it was just uh, to tell you that the camera is available for pre-order you can go to check it and tell you that this is great for film photography. So I know some people will say it's too expensive, it's not too expensive and all this debate will come out but the reality of the thing is that if you do film photography also if you are buying this used camera and fixing them and using these for a few bucks and you think that you are absolutely smarter than anybody buying a new camera that's great but uh, be uh, sure that uh, a new camera means that you will have the film available for your old camera also if you don't like the Pentax 17 you think you don't like the Rolly 35IF and all these kind of things because your dream is a different camera be happy that there's new ca film cameras on the market and be happy that film photography had never been so alive in the last years thank you very much for watching see you next time